But I felt like whenever I went, we had our natural birth, I've watched you time it, do mm -hmm. what you have to do, and boop. You know Your body knows what to do. It's the woman body is so amazing. Yeah. Um, but I, I wanna say like um with our son, I was pushing in a hospital and of course they had you lay on your back. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, um, she lay on back, yeah. And they had your legs to your ear. Okay. Literally. And um <laughs> how they had me laying down, I asked I said, Can I get up? And the nurse told me no. I'm the one pushing this baby. <laughs> What's good, good y'all? It's, it's the Dumachettes React, and, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Talk to them. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, mm -hmm. all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Aww. All right, so it's been a little while uh, since we made our last video, but there's a good reason for that. So today, Sammy is gonna talk to you guys about what it was like to give birth here in Brazil. We, I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let her. <laughs> so we use the public healthcare here in Brazil system. So SUS, uh, Sistema Único de Saúde. And since it's public, it's already paid for. And, oh yeah, we did, we, I had Joanna, I had her baby, in the public system in Carmela Dutra, the maternity hospital of reference here in Florianopolis, and I was surprised. So I'm from Manaus, and there in Manaus, my hometown, I had to go through a surgery to remove a cyst and, and one ovary. So it's basically, I went to a maternity hospital there, a reference maternity hospital mm -hmm. there. And my mom works there too, so I kind of know what I'm talking about, in a way. I just know that things were scary, in a way, there. Like, the doctors did their job, the nurses and technicians did their job, but you could see that probably government money was not being well uh, managed. Is that the word? Well spent, yeah. Yeah, well spent there. And here I got to, well, I got to compare, and I was very pleasant surprised in a way and kind of sad for my hometown too but we were taking care of like prime like level I guess that's how you say it I don't know but um, anyways we went there around 4 30 in the morning when I decided to go I was we were checking my contractions and everything so we didn't go too early or too late um, we left our house uh, our apartment around 4.30 in the morning. We got there around 5. I got seen around 5.20 or less than that. And it was not uh, it was not crowded. It was not like full of people there. And people were very helpful and willing to do their job. Starting there. <laughs> um, so I got seen by the doctor. She sent me right away to the, to do the cardiotography. I, I think that's how you say it. I stayed there for a while. Um, I don't know if they forgot about me or if they just had to run tests longer. But right after that, I got seen again. Like everything happened like really fast. And yeah, so we ha I had, I keep trying to say we had. Yeah. <laughs> I had a natural birth, except for um, I, need to, I needed to take antibiotics. Wait for a minute, some... wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so she had a natural birth. Should have been fun, right? And it, it was paid for. Even mm. with insurance, our natural birth, they gave us the runaround. Yeah, we had to go through a whole lot the of... Absolute runaround. If you're new to the channel, let me explain a little bit. Yeah. So, we have three children, so we have three different experiences when it came to, you know, our birthing situations. The first child, he was born with a forceps delivery. Forceps, yeah. The second child was born through forceps delivery in the OR. They were emergency. Actually... It was an emergency rush. They thought she was going to have to have a C-section. Yes. And poor baby, she was up in there panicking and screaming and kicking. And it still 
was going to go through with it. I had no say so. Though mm -hmm. I tried to stop them, yeah. and they put on a, the OR table, right? Yes. And all, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were not listening to me. My my doctor actually came in at the last minute, and yeah, for real. I told her I wanted the opportunity to push, and she allowed me to, and my baby came out. So I actually got charged twice. I actually got charged for the vaginal delivery. Mm -hmm. The vaginal delivery, forceps, and being yeah. in OR. Yeah, so, OR for a c-section that i didn't get um our third baby was born at home yes we actually <laughs> had her ourselves we delivered her ourselves. i caught i caught her <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um the first two had insurance i had three different insurance for all of them um didn't have any problems with the first two other than that high bill for the second one but the third one Although we had insurance, our insurance gave us the runaround with paying for a natural birth. Because, yeah, and that's crazy now that you mention it. Like, because it was a natural birth, they mm -hmm. did not want to. Like, they kept, I ain't going to go into detail what they were actually doing. Right. But it was so many unnecessary phone calls mm -hmm. with repeated information that yes. they were just not taking in. Because we wanted to have a natural birth. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, they kind of put us in a stressful spot, too, because we was trying to actually have a natural right. birth. And they was giving us a runaround the whole time. Yeah, they didn't want us to use the midwives we were using because we was using a freestanding midwifery um, center instead of uh, midwives working in the hospital. Um, they wanted us to travel 30 minutes mm. away. When I The midwives we were going to was literally less than 10 minutes on the street. And what was so crazy about that location, they just set it up. Yes. They just opened it it's up and it was like, good to go. It was like, yo, everything is working out. Right. But this insurance just didn't want to play right. Around. You know what I'm saying? So it was a little They hassle. never approved it until after the baby was born. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care what y'all say. I'm not traveling 30 minutes to go to a doctor's appointment. So that's fine. She was yeah. able to actually have all her natural birth situated through insurance and everything was paid for. Everything was paid for. That's a good thing. And she yeah. said she received prime level experience. That's fine. That's fine. Tests there, but nothing to numb the pain or to make the birth faster or anything. Um, but yeah, everything was really fast. And what else? I'm thinking I'm forgetting. Yeah, that. I'll just add like I waited yeah. outside while for That's the first true. three hours. That was the only part. Yeah. It's not like a anything against the hospital, but it kind of stinks when your wife is in going pain. through. Is, she was in pain, obviously going. <laughs> Yeah. Having these contractions, and I had to wait outside. Her mom and I waited outside while oh, she was inside, and I, she didn't have her phone, so I had no way of knowing what was going on. Oh no! And they don't let you see them yeah. until and there's they have their reasons for that, but yeah, after. Yeah. And so you yeah, wanted. I still would have comfortable. The reasons because yeah, as a man, I would have been uncomfortable. <clears throat> as a woman going through pain, you yeah. want your your significant other, her mom. That's your moral support, especially during a time where you look when you're in pain, you're a little bit delirious. Like you're there when, right. when the contractions is right. not there, but when the contraction is rolling, and you still want that support. So she was had she literally he's I, I believe he's saying that she had to go through this part like at least three hours by herself. Yeah, contractions in and out, in and out. I know he's gonna get to it as a guy myself, as a storyteller, I always jump the broom. So I'm just here to see, like, when were he able to go into the room right. after all of these contractions was just being taken I hope taken it's place. not when she was about to... Right, and that's what I'm thinking. A natural birth? You're supposed to be there the whole time. I want to take pictures, record. I want to be right. in the room. I want to <laughs> FaceTime family. Creator. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to do all that. Memories. These are yeah. memories that she was supposed to have, and I felt like that the hospital should have... I hope they at least had a doula with her the whole time. Cool, cool, yeah. That's a good thing to know. 515 yeah around eight yeah around like 8 15 8 30 it was probably three hours and then that's when they said i could come in that's when it was it was go time yeah um but like even even and i know the reasons that they didn't let other people go in and all i know that stinks but at the same time they would never let let us like the pregnant women there unattended they would always okay. be taking care of you checking on you and they will feed you amazing food which i was also surprised um 
I'm saying that because not because I was not expecting yeah. or because oh I was expecting it to be horrible, but just because uh, my experience before in my hometown, public service, same thing, supposed to be the same thing, uh, it was very different. So prime like breakfast, everything, and uh, just taking care. So they are very humanized. I think that's how you say it, hospital. So if you go there and you are in good health they will try to like have your baby be delivered in natural birth if possible I like that. I they will not the deny you medication good. of course if you need it so yeah, some women there how often are women told to try the natural birth before going through any other form of birthing not often here i like that that's that's fine the first question they ask which i understand because a lot of people can't handle pain Fact, yeah, yeah. the first question they ask is do you want to get the epidural? Actually, yeah. they ask you that during the pre-screening. Now that's what are your pain management. Like, that, what do you want to do? That was something I wasn't being. I seen men be in the room for epidurals. Mm -hmm. Like you could be in the room, but I wasn't able to be in the room for that. Nah. And I understand. I mean, it's needling, very, very time management. Yeah. You know. So, but um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that they allow them a chance because mm -hmm. here is medicine is pushed. You know, and so that's that creates the um, what is the word? Can't think of the word right now. But that creates, you know, people saying, "Oh, the first thing I'm gonna get is an epidural. Give me an epidural." You know, because that's all they know. They mm -hmm. they know you don't even have to go through the pain. That's that's good for some people, but some people believe in holistic approaches. You know. Yeah, that's another conversation. For itself. Yeah. I yeah, feel, yeah. I, I, and that's a really like a really another conversation for itself because women need to be introduced to the option of being able mm -hmm. to do what their body is naturally made to do instead of being medicated a hundred percent and then you are drowsy at the end of it and you're trying to look at your baby and it's like I'm not ready yet because <laughs> no, I'm putting no. this mad, you know? it's when after you have the baby and your legs are still numb for yeah, hours I remember that <laughs> Can't get out the bed. You gotta wait. She couldn't move. Her legs were still pinned in the air. They had to put it down. <laughs> I said, "Can you wiggle your toes?" She was like, "I just want to eat." Yeah, That's I, it. I, I can't, I can't feel that. Nothing else but my, my stomach <laughs> growling. They were in, uh, I think, strong pain, so they would give them medicine to help numb the pain and things like that. But if you don't complain about that, if you don't ask ask them for that, they will not offer you like, "Oh, here, do you want this?" Just because. So I like that very much, particularly because that's what I wanted from the beginning. Um, and yeah, so they would just be taking care of you. Uh, uh, and when they when they sent me to the room, like three hours later, I'm sorry. Was, I gotta go. They don't take care of the daddy. Wait, but the daddy had to wait outside. Well, then they gave me a pillow last time. <laughs> oh, they gave you a pillow. They gave me a pillow. That was the only, like, one of the only <laughs> good things about that hospital. Right, I was like, a pillow? Okay, cool. Because, like, you had, like, a, a little, what you call it, a little window bed. Yeah, I had a window bed. Yeah. They gave me a pillow and a blanket in this yeah. room. I mean, how, you know, I, I appreciate it. The food was good. It. From the that cafeteria. You ate. Yeah. yeah, I had to get my own. The first time, the second time, we was care. prepared. Yeah, we was prepared the second time. <laughs> a little long, to, in my opinion, but I, I couldn't care less because I was just, like, taking a nap. Uh, since the night had been like kind of painful already, bless you. <laughs> so when they sent me to the room, um, they went. They called for him, and when I went to the delivery room, I guess the pre-delivery room, I think I went into the shower, like a hot shower. They let me just stay there for as long as I wanted, and. Should I tell like more details or just I don't know? <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. Anyways, we got when I went to that part of the room, I arrived at the hospital with five centimeters dilation, and three hours later, the doctor checked and I was like six centimeters. So that would be kind of weird, but anyways, I didn't think anything <coughs> about that. But she sent me to the delivery room, so maybe she just said I was six centimeters to calm me down. I don't know, but yeah, I had to be taken to that room either way because of the antibiotics like I said and then in the delivery room I think not delivery room pre-delivery room yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah I stayed in the shower for a few minutes like half an hour I think water broke and suddenly like the ladies came the doctors came and nurses and everything and he was very helpful even though I was kind of being rude to you <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Did break after you got out the shower um, and you came downstairs mm -hmm. you talking about the natural birth yeah it was before 
Why are you using the shower? Why are you using the restroom? Oh, use, oh, use yeah. Okay, okay. Then I got in the shower because I was like, oh, it's time to go. Let me take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So he was very helpful and called the doctors, explained what happened. And I was already dilated two more centimeters. So I had, yeah, I was eight centimeters dilated. And from then to Joanna being born, it was like another half an hour, I think. Yeah. So I think everything was super, super fast at that time and mm -hmm. they didn't force any like I don't know how to say that the word the position in English but they did not force me to be laying down okay, um, like they that. did I not like force that. any procedures so everything was just like they would just be encouraging me and even Tucker would be encouraging me to and be encouraged by them I think I don't know so from my understanding I feel like natural births are faster yeah. From what I experienced with you, so um, it depends. Some. Yeah, some. that that is true. Um, it depends on the person, you know. Right. But yeah, it depends on the person. So what? Well, I'm saying that what I've noticed is that the two scares we had of our first two borns, it was a whole process that we had to go through with the, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying with the pushing stage, and even when you was pushing for our first one, I thought you know 100 percent you was numb, so you didn't know what you was really. You was just up in there yelling. I felt that part though. But I you was felt numb, the pressure. But I felt yeah, I felt the right. pressure. But I felt like whenever I went, we had our natural birth, I've watched you time it, do mm -hmm. what you have to do, and boop. You know Your body saying? knows what to do. It's the woman body is so amazing. Yeah. Um, but I, I wanna say like um with our son I was pushing in a hospital, and of course they had you lay on your back. Yeah, she just um, lay on back, yeah. And they had your legs to your ear. Okay. Literally. And um, <laughs> how they had me laying down, I asked, I said, can I get up? And the nurse told me no. I'm the one pushing this baby. You trying to get comfortable. Yes, I'm trying to get comfortable in the, in the way I can brace myself and push this baby out. <clears throat> On our natural birth, my body literally, like, I didn't know what to do, but my body knew what to do. So I actually delivered her in like a kneeling position. It's like you kept moving around until you was like comfortable. Right. A yeah. kneeling position hanging over the sofa. So like your body really knows what position you need to be in. You won't have to ask what position to be right. in. Right, right. You know? Wow. Amazing. The woman body. Amazing. <laughs> Everything's kind of a blur, but um, yeah, like... They had interns there, I think, too, but no one was like testing on you their knowledge or anything like that. So, yeah, I think basically that's yeah, it. Yeah, there were a lot of, I have no idea, uh, this is our first child, but there were a lot of nurses and doctors in the room. Or, like, they would come in and out, right? Yeah, and then by, by the time it was like really, uh, like when she was actually giving birth, I think there were... It was hard to decipher who was a nurse and who was a doctor because yeah. they wore the exact same uh, scrubs. I'm so I, I don't know who was who, but <coughs> there were like four or five nurse slash doctors in the room. And then, yeah, like she said, they just let her sit on the... Yeah, they would come. I think they would come in some things. I don't remember very well what, but I know that every time I would open my eyes, I would see different people there, but no one would be interfering in anything or giving... Um, unwanted opinion they would just tell me like oh you have to push when you feel this or you should do this like put your feet on here not to force the wrong parts of your body and blah blah and they would even speak english to tucker right yeah and my like he would speak portuguese, portuguese too, but, is pretty horrible. yeah but the lady the, i would hear some of them like speaking english to him sometimes just to guide him also through what he would have to do but yeah everything was really fast and as soon as she came out everybody cleared the room basically and then we would have like two people there just taking care of like minimum stuff and yeah she they would let her stay on my chest for the first hour they would not touch her or do any like unnecessary procedures so they would just like measure her weight and everything with tucker's uh, supervision in a way right like mm -hmm. being there to see what they were doing with her so yeah everything was i i really liked it like we wanted, of course, if we could have done it, we would have gone to the private, the, the private hospital. That was one of our, well, one of my options, but we couldn't. We didn't have money, <laughs> and I don't regret it at all. Like I know that the care we would have in the private hospital would probably be, oh my goodness, amazing. But I didn't. They didn't lack for anything. In the yeah, private hospital. And, and they gave you, like I was only there for. I got in there. 
Well, Joanna was born at like 10.30 in the morning. And then I had to leave because her mom stayed the night that night at 5. And they gave me three, obviously they gave her the same amount of meals. And hers was bigger. But I got three meals during that day. And then the next day, how many meals did you get? Well, I, I would always get six meals because yeah. there's the snack. But the snack was like enough for us to share. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the, the main meals, like breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner, both my... The person that was there with me and I would get like same thing except I would have more like more carbohydrates I don't know some more stuff there to I don't know. replenish what yeah. yeah she lost but everything was amazing so right after that like we stayed another hour in the labor room the labor room because I think they were still like figuring out a room for to take me but after that we went to the infirmary and everything was nice they had like little curtains to give you some privacy and again public hospital we were not paying for a private room or a shared room or anything that's just like everything that you have included in your taxes uh, every Brazilian who sits in <laughs> has included in their taxes so uh, yeah we didn't have to worry about anything they would give me medication the doctors would come and check in on me and Joanna and give us instructions too since this is our first uh, child uh, on breastfeeding, on exercises, on uh, how to take care of her, and these are her hiccups, just in case you're yeah. listening to some. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so we didn't have anything bad happen there. We just had one misunderstanding, but it's just because we didn't know about that protocol that was like, oh, the, the, the person yeah, there with you shouldn't leave at any moment. Like, you can't change the person or something like that. I don't know. But then I told her that we. We were not aware of that thing, of that protocol, so they, they let us just change it. So I think it's just a matter of talking to them. But yeah, that was not an issue. It's just like, I'm just coming in. That was the one thing that we had to kind of solve. Um, but yeah, and then they have a space there for the person to be with you. They do not have beds for the person staying with the with the moms. Mm. But you can take like a little mattress if you want. There's space in the room. Yeah. If you want to make space in the room, there is space in the room. But <laughs> there's a bathroom, you can take showers. If, like okay, so just speaking on our experiences at the hospital, um, we chose one hospital for both of our boys. Right, right. Um, we love that hospital. That hospital was one of, I don't want to say the newer ones, because I was kind of new to the city. I was new to the city for the first one. I want to say it was new. I'm not sure. But the hospital rooms, it was spacious. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Dion didn't have a bed. He wasn't the patient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was the patient. Okay, but they did have like a little... Like during the daytime when you have visitors, it's a, seat, a sitting um, area. But at night, you recline. Yeah, right? oh, I know how to get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they gave him pillows. They gave oh, him yeah. a blanket. So that was cool. Um, yeah, we had a spacious room. Um, so being, I was always, for the, for the boys, I was on the Medicaid program. Um, what, what is the Medicaid program? I'm, I really it's certain remember. requirements. I'm trying to think. Any woman who's pregnant can get on it. Yeah. Depending on your income. And of course, I was a college student for both, so I qualified. But yeah. I also had private insurance as well. So I can't really give an experience on if I was treated differently um, for certain things. You know what? Yeah, because they would always ask what kind of insurance you have before they give you anything. Right. Yeah. Um, but I would always have private insurance on top of it, so it was a good thing. Um, so yeah, anything I wanted, they scanned it and charged it to my account. Um, I, I, I didn't really see any differences. I do know a friend who had um, her baby at the same hospital and all she had was Medicaid. She received the same things I received. So it wasn't any, oh, you're on um, government assistance. You can't get this. So, yeah. 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 It was good experience. The moms and the person with the moms. Uh, you can have visitors. I think it's up to two visitors a day. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, they have everything. They have a, an area there that women that want to know or learn more about breastfeeding or even go to the milk banks. I don't know if that's the word in English, oh, but I'm uh, not sure. Yeah, I'm not either. But if you look it up on Google, you might understand what I'm talking about or see the right word. 
or you leave a comment and tell me what the right word is. But anyways, uh, yeah, we could go there and be informed and it would teach us how to do it. I didn't really get to go there, but the people that worked in that area of the hospital would go to us and tell us to go there if we had any more doubts, but they would teach us there the basics. And basically that, yeah, that's it. They would give the kids the first uh, shots of things that they need. And I didn't have any issue. They would not give anything. Like, they would not give the kid anything that you are not allowing them to. So they would tell you, like, we're going to give the kid this and this. I don't know the names of the shots in English, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. That do you know the names? I think one was like for hepatitis B. Yeah. And then I'm not sure what the other That's one was. Yeah, I don't I, I yeah. don't know the name in English, so I'm not gonna try and say. It. But and then they do the test, the first test, like the eye test, the tongue test, and things like that. Oh. Um, the but yeah, everything is just like they're documenting everything, and you can you, you have, have a tongue mm. test. Well, yes. We have a tongue test. The tongue tie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But. But they don't mention if it's a tongue tie at the time. They don't. Um, our second son had the tongue tie, and they didn't tell us anything. Mm -hmm. So you're right, babe. They didn't test for that. I've never heard someone says, "Okay, we're gonna like they would check the hands, mm -hmm. ears, like they would do little things like that." But I've never seen them like be like, "Let me check the tongue." <laughs> Let me see. It's if that during tongue... it's during the time yeah. when they're checking all of their muscles. I forgot what it's called. It's like a um acronym. That means something bigger. But I forgot what it's called, but it's when they're testing, like, their muscle tone and isn't, all of that. That's when they test for it. Isn't that when they take the baby and they ba bathe it? Before that. That's before that? <laughs> before so, that. Okay. All right. Yeah, so um, they didn't tell us that our son had a tongue tie. We actually didn't realize he had one until he was one because I didn't breastfeed him on, on my breast. You know, I um, breastfed him with a bottle. So, they didn't tell us that, but our natural birth, after we had the baby, our midwives came um, to our home, and they checked all of that, and we were able to find out that she had tongue and lip tie. No, just tongue tie. Both. I think she had both. both. Yeah. <laughs> I have the option of just registering the kid already there before you live. <laughs> yeah, she, she sounds so drunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh the Our baby. Kid, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so what else? Am I forgetting something? No, I just like you checked out oh, about yeah. 48 hours after the birth. Yeah, after the birth. Yeah, you have to stay there for at least 48 hours. And if you don't, if you have everything like going right with you and the baby, then you are released. Like, not released, you're not being kept there. Prisoner, but yeah, but they, they make sure she pees and poops, right? Yeah, they pees, make sure she pees and, and poops and is feeding, at least gaining some weight or not losing more weight than expected. And then, um, if you were, uh, there was a lady there, she had to stay longer. Uh, she was a smoker and also had diabetes. So I think they had something to do with that. Uh, they had to run more tests on the baby and stuff. But yeah, they will not let you leave if they think like you should, you need more care. And of course, if you want to leave, you just need to sign like a, a document saying that, well, it's your decision, you're aware of the possible consequences and everything. I'm just saying like it's, they they take care of everything yeah. in a very respectful way too. So, and then yeah, you can tell them we, we took her to the pediatrician here. Yeah. So yeah, we took her to the pediatrician. I got. I yeah, got, got her. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So we took her to the pediatrician to have the foot, uh, the little blood test taken for her feet. I'm still waiting for the results. It's 15 days. And, um, yeah, we have another appointment. It's just like routine thing because, you know, so babies. Once so, um, every, everything amazing as well. Like, you just need to go there. And also, they have a WhatsApp. Like, you can just text them. So, you don't need to go there and be in a line, gigantic line. You just text them and they schedule the appointment for you. And, um, she already has a Swiss card. <laughs> yeah, we got a birth certificate. Yeah. Oh yeah, we also got her her birth certificate, which was for free as well. I don't know if everywhere is like that, but that was okay. So in Louisiana, it was free. Yeah. But in Texas, it was not free. How far, how long it took to get it? You remember? Mm, we had to wait until her, her social came in. Okay. Her social security card that yeah. came in about. couple weeks and then give or take i yeah. said about a couple weeks too and, yeah. and then we had her like in the pandemic 
like towards the end of the pandemic. Oh, it sure did. So um, things were delayed. Baby. Everything was delayed. Yep. Yeah. So um, we had the option of ordering her birth certificate on the computer, which would have took a longer time, or we had the option of going in person. We actually chose to go in person. Yeah. And that took less than Yeah, we minutes. just went up there, grabbed everything, and was out. Yeah, but that cost. I don't remember the cost, but it cost. No, I don't either. But yeah. Amazing. I was very happy. And yeah, we got everything solved in a few days. Right, Joanna? This was, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, like she was saying in the beginning about the hospital, it was like very uncrowded. Obviously, there were women in there giving birth, and but like when we were out in the waiting, they they have a an area that you can wait outside where, where you have to wait. And it was, I think there was, besides her mom and I, it was two other people. And inside, it was just her. I mean, it's it almost seemed her mom could not believe how empty it was because she works at the hospital in the house, and it is always yeah full. Yeah. Very full. So So there was no one in the waiting room in the first waiting room. It was probably the most pleasant yeah, I Sammy's the one who went through everything. I was just obviously her support, but yeah, it was I could not believe how much different it was than I was I was kind of just going in expecting it to be not as pleasant. <laughs> and it was. It was yeah. Definitely beat our expectations. Yeah, yeah definitely. We were very well taken care of. Yeah, and look, look at little Joanna. Yeah, she <laughs> so is big. like the Lion King. Yeah, she's a, she's a beautiful <laughs> little... We still can't decide if she has... Yeah, I think she's going to have brown eyes. She, they, they start off kind of dark blue, but yeah, I think she's... She looks just like her mom, except for she's got my, my toes. <laughs> <laughs> that means anything. The baby so, yeah. Um, that is awesome. Yeah, if, well, if that's all you can think of. As of now, but if you have any doubts or anything that we can share with you, if this was helpful at all, let us know in the comments and we're going to be posting more about yeah raising this little girl here. Yeah, so she's yeah two weeks today. So as she uh, gets a little older, we'll go on some walks with her and kind of maybe, yeah, like she said, share videos what it's like to raise a baby here in, in Brazil, in Florianopolis, yeah. so. Man, that's what's up. Lovely couple, beautiful yes. baby, beautiful family. Um, and I just grew up a likening to hearing baby stories. Now, yeah. I don't like to watch the births. <laughs> that's the other thing. She would like, baby, look, and I'd be like, eh, I'm nah, shy away everything. from it. But like the stories and everything, I love to hear that for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess it's just in my, my, my being now to just enjoy it. Your dad. Hey, they had a great experience. Yes. Um, Smooth selling, natural birth, you know, I feel like the first impression is the best impression, so now mm -hmm. it should be more comfortable to make another one. Babe, the baby is just two weeks in this video. But they had a good time. experience, right? They did. You know how we say it's like a gumbo. You go to the right spot, get a gumbo, you're going to want another you one. You want to go back. You're going to go back. <laughs> Yeah, well, this was good. Thank you guys for sending this in. Big okay, facts. Babe? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Thank you guys for sending this in. Um, <clears throat> it gave us a better understanding of public health care in Brazil. True. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, it's nice that you all have that option. She had a pleasant experience. That's good. Although she wanted the private experience, I really would love to know what's the difference. Um Again, the only thing that I would have had a problem with was her husband wasn't able to be with her every step of the way. Yeah, yeah. Because me, <clears throat> I need my man. And I had that luxury, <laughs> you feel me? They yeah. didn't kick me out. The only time I wasn't able to be on Sierra's side is when uh, for our second child, when they had the emergency rush and she went to the, the mm. OR, and they made me get dressed, put on all these scrubs and all this stuff. And then they let you in. Yeah, but you were sitting there going crazy. Oh, I was. Yeah, y'all should have saw her up in there, y'all. She was so embarrassed. I wasn't embarrassed. I'm joking, I was crying. I'm joking, I'm joking. I was sad. I was yeah, it was a very it was a very traumatic moment for us because we didn't want me. we didn't want her to get cut, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it, it wasn't I know I knew my body, I knew um I was very knowledgeable on what was going on. They just didn't give me the opportunity to push. Once they made their arrangement to say this is what we're doing, everything we said went out the window. Yeah. And we didn't like that part. Yeah. So. so if my doctor, the one who I was going to my entire pregnancy, wouldn't have walked in as she was walking in, like I had on the little cuffs um, on the legs, the compression for the legs, like all they didn't do was take out, oh, they took out the needles. And, oh, they had and everything the, laid out. They had everything. They the had only everything thing, laid out. They didn't do the doctor that they had called to come up in there and do the, the C-section. He was, yeah, he was already suiting up. 
Um, my doctor walked in at the last minute. I asked her, "Can I push?" She told me to push. Yeah. Hey. And, and the baby was born. How I that, want it. <laughs> Brazil. Uh, definitely show love when it comes to natural birth, and I really appreciate yes, that. Yes. I like that. Yes, we like that. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.